Lo-Fi Tano album review. Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And in this video, I'm going to very briefly talk about the new Jenny Lewis record, The Voyager. Jenny Lewis is a singer-songwriter, songstress, multi-instrumentalist, mostly known for her solo work for fronting Rilo Kylie, her work with the Watson twins, and um, I sort of have a soft spot for her stuff, having enjoyed a, a lot of her albums throughout college, so I figured I would uh, check this new record of hers out, even though there haven't been a lot of people uh, who watch my videos requesting uh, that I check it out, sort of uh, curious as to what I think about this album. I'm sort of wondering whether or not this uh, record is sort of connecting with the, the young audience that she once was in the 2000s, uh, right? But anyway... Uh, so I did give this album a listen, and I guess my initial reaction, and what continues to be my reaction to a slight degree, even though this record has grown on me a little bit, is, uh, just sort of utter disappointment. And, not that the record is completely terrible, I guess it's just not what I was expecting. And I guess what I was expecting, the sort of, it, it, it was, the heart-wrenching drama and the finesse that usually comes through uh, on her work. And, you know, I, I, I know Rilo Kylie, as far as indie pop goes in the 2000s, they're definitely one of the more straightforward groups. And it's not like Jenny's solo material is, like, incredibly avant-garde or experimental or something like that. But I'm finding this new record of hers to be just disappointingly straightforward, kind of commercial, overly slick, and um, subtlety strapped. I'm actually finding the instrumentation on these songs to sound kind of like that of a, a Sheryl Crow record or something like that. Um, just not not really something uh, that I'm all that into. You know, I'm, I'm into a Sheryl Crow tune or two, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not really her instrumentals to me that are the selling point of, uh, of her songs. And, and neither is that the selling point of, of this new Jenny Lewis record either, at least for me. Um, given that I do find the instrumental so plain a lot of the time, I do find myself gravitating toward the lyrics and the tunes and really sort of diving into the melodies. And a lot of the time, uh, the melodies on these tracks do lure me in, are sweet, are seductive, are worth singing along with. And... You know, some of the sentiments behind the lyrics as well, especially on a track like The New You, are kind of cute and adorable. I, I do think this record is kind of precious in a sense. It's huggable, it's lovable, it's likable. Um, Jenny Lewis's personality might have shifted a little bit on this LP. I think it's maybe a little bit more palatable and, and, and sugary. And, again, I guess, I guess, I guess that's fine. You know, uh... I, I do think tracks on here like the opener are, are really nice as well in terms of lyrical content and the melody. And I guess the, the beat is nice as well. Again, though, it's just uh, plainly commercial, I suppose. If there is one other thing aside from some of the tunes that, can kinda, that I can kind of praise this record on, though, I guess it is the variety among uh, the instrumentals and the songs themselves. There are some tracks that have kind of more of a pop rock feel, others that feel like a touch of alt country. Then there is the song Slippery Slopes, which stands out because it sort of has this old, slow, sort of sludgy, heavy, 90s, underground rock vibe to it. It feels like the instrumental is sort of inspired a little bit by either Pavement or the Pixies, something like that. So there is a nice amount of musical sort of pop and rock stylings across this record. It's not like this one monotonous tone over and over and over. But I guess having heard Jenny's older stuff, I just miss the instrumental drama and just the subtlety and sort of the more organic feel of, uh, of I guess, her older stuff. Um, that's just personally my preference. You know, if, if, if you're looking for a sweet, accessible, easy, kind of light and breezy singer-songwriter record to kind of get you through the rest of the summer, then you might like this LP. You know, it's sweet on the ears. It's, it's certainly likable. There's certainly nothing hateable about it. 
I just think Jenny has kind of lost just a touch of personality in the process of, of making this LP and just kind of making an album that I think just about anybody who's like, you know, heard a singer songwriter record that they like can come across and be like, Oh, this is pretty good. You know, but that's all. Let me know what you think of this LP down in the comments. Do you love it? Hate it? Why? What do you think I should review next? And that's it. Anthony Fantano, Jenny Lewis, The Voyager, forever.